Hi everyone, it's Dino with One Tom Plumber again. I'm back, not with a how-to, but with a how-don't. Are the chemicals used in these drain cleaners, typical drain cleaners you buy at any hardware store, a grocery store, etc., are they safe to use? Quick answer, no, not at all. Don't even try it. Um, I'm here to tell you why that's the case. Bottom line, we use these chemicals only because they're convenient and they're advertised very heavily. So they're top of mind in our awareness when we have a drain cloth. Unfortunately, they contain different kinds of corrosive chemicals. There's two main types. One is sulfuric acid, which you can find in this ZEP product. In fact, it just says sulfuric acid right on the top. They don't make any bones about it with a, a marketing name. Drain opener, and it says urgent on there. And then it's wrapped in plastic. It's even got danger right there. I'm not sure you can see it on camera, but it's got a lot of warnings on it. The plastic protects it. Um, you don't want to open that up and use it if you don't have to. The second uh, and more common is lye. It's also called, known as caustic soda, but the chemical name is sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, either one. But regardless, you got the sodium hydroxide, you got the sulfuric acid. Um, these make up the vast majority of drain cleaners out there. They're incredibly dangerous. In fact, in about five seconds, they can not only dissolve some of the gunk in your drain, but they start eating away at the metal that the drain is made out of, whether it's steel, copper, iron, etc., and can cause tremendous damage to your pipes. They thin out the pipe walls. They also can thin out and pit the joints that hold together the different pipes. And over time, they're eventually gonna leak. And a leak can lead to a flood. Uh, very expensive water damage. So you really don't want to use these products if you don't have to. They're incredibly harsh and corrosive. That's one kind of safety reason not to do it. The other one is personal safety to yourself. When you're using these chemicals, you have to wear rubber gloves, you have to have protective glasses, and you have to be really slow and careful and deliberate about using it. For example, when you're pouring in the sulfuric acid, when you're pouring in the lime, they are going to splash. Um, if this gets on your skin, it will burn you. It will burn you. If it gets in the eye, it can blind you. So these are not chemicals that we want to mess with. There's too many other good ways to do it. Again, you can see that on our blog. Just look for any kind of drain cleaning blog on there. You'll find natural methods to the professional methods that we use. Frankly, for the same amount of money as it costs to do these, and these, I think these products were anywhere from six bucks to 12, 15 bucks for the sulfuric acid, um, you can buy an auger, a little hand auger, or what we call a plumber snake, or a drain snake and have that repeatedly used throughout its life as opposed to this you want to use it and you don't want to keep it around you don't even want to store it you want to get rid of it properly um, because you don't want any kids getting around it but they continue to be so popular because of the amount of marketing pushed behind them because of the name brand awareness etc and they're just the danger they represent to you and your pipes do not overcome the convenience and the ease of other solutions that are much better for you. So I hope this has taught you a little bit about why not to use chemical drain cleaners that you can buy at a store and rather use some natural methods, alternative methods, or professional plumbing methods that don't have to be costly. In fact, they're quite inexpensive. Say no to harsh, corrosive chemical drain cleaners that you buy at the store not worth it for personal safety, for plumbing safety. You're gonna have problems one way or the other down the road, if not the first time. Hey, I hope you've learned something about these chemicals that are useful to you, that keep you safe. In the meantime, our next video is gonna be coming up eh, probably within a week. We're doing quite a few of them right now. So stay with us, 
click that uh, follow button, share button, uh, any kind of button you see, just press it. And uh, we'll be back with you and see you next time. Thanks a lot. This is Dino with One Tom Plumber.